In this video, we will see how to use a character from Roid and Plask Animation within Unreal. First, we must go to the Roid page, download the free program, and install it according to our operating system. Let's now create a new character. On the left side, we have slider controls to adjust the different parts of the body. And on the right side, we have different face, body, and clothes presets. We will now export the character in VRM format, the only one available. Now, inside Plask, we will import the video for the animation. We extract the motion and choose the options. Single, foot lock in case you have the pro version, and T-pose. We incorporate the animation into the Plask mannequin and export it to Unreal in FBX format. Before entering Unreal, we will download this plugin depending on the version of Unreal we are using. Once unzipped, we will copy the folder into the Unreal Plugins folder. Inside Unreal, we will create a folder to import the Plask animation. We import the animation with the setting that we usually use for Plask. Now, we will create an IK rig that we'll use later for the retarget. For this IK rig, we select the skeleton of the Plask character. We set up the retarget root set and all the bone chains for this character regarding arms, legs, torso, head, and neck.
Now we're going to import the character from Roid. Before doing that, check to have the plugin installed and activated. If you don't have it, click on the box and restart. As this character is not a format supported by Unreal, we must bring it from the folder where it is downloaded to import it. And we're going to set up the following options. and we will create the IK rig for this character using its skeleton as a base. Same as before, we established the bone chains. Unreal will give it the same name as the previous character. If you also want to clone the movement of the fingers, you must make chains for each of them in both characters. In this tutorial, we will only do bone chains for the hands, legs, torso, head, and neck. We are now going to create the retargeter, which will contain both of the created IKs. Using as a source, the one from Plask. Our Plask animation can now be transferred to the Void character so we can export it. We create a sequencer to test the animation and see what settings we should make.
this was a guide to using Roid characters with Plask animations within Unreal. Thanks for watching! If you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit the subscribe button and don't forget to follow us on social media for exclusive offers.